Hi guys and girls, today we've got the dirty ash to clean. Now, for anybody that's just tuned in and they haven't seen the other videos, quick, quick sort of get you up to speed. Bought this car from the salvage auction Copart and it had been vandalised inside. Um, my initial thoughts were that it had been stolen recovered, but I'm sort of now thinking that it could also have been a repo and they've ruined it, they've wrecked it because it was getting repossessed. Either way, it was in a right mess when I picked it up. Basically, window was smashed. The door cards were ruined because they'd broke the handles off of them. Because the window was down, the rains got in and there's loads of mould on the carpets and stuff and on the seats. This is basically how I got it. Um, door snapped off the glove box. Wing mirror had been kicked off. There's junk all over the place. Boots full of junk. And inside, the steering column had been ripped down. The bottom bit I've taken off because I had to fix the steering column. I'm going to clean that before I put it back on. Same with the door card on this side. We've got a couple of door cards. Courtesy of one of the viewers that I actually donated a couple, so that was really nice of them. It's just filthy. I mean, look. They've ran it into the ground, I think, and then... Whether it's been stolen and they've been using it and neglecting it, or whether it's been deliberate because it's been getting repossessed, I don't know. But it's absolutely filthy in there and it smells because of the dampness as well so we're going to have to give it a real good shampoo outside for some reason we've got this sort of they've aerosol loads of paint all up the side of it so it's really like dull um we've taken we've done this wing you see that wing's quite shiny this front fender so we've got some two pack thinners and we've taken that off so it comes up quite nicely but as you can see there around the door handle it's just dull and there's no shine at all that's because it's covered in red aerosol paint we've made a right mess of it so here we go let's crack on with it
You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning. You just have your ways to get me high. You make all my dreams come true. It feels right when I'm around you. So we've got the seats out, and as you know, I like to get a look when they're out because it's just easier to see everything. And you can see the dirt and stuff all over the place. We've got cigarette ash that's been down the side of the, the driver's seat there. Not a massive amount, but it's not very nice, is it? And the carpets are filthy. That's something that's part of the door pocket thing. So, we need to get it all cleaned up. The back seat, you can see, is really pretty mouldy, so we'll need to get that properly cleaned out. I've had some dehumidifiers in it the past few nights, so it's all dry. It just needs a right good clean. But you've already seen, we've got a mould in there as well, loads of junk. But then you get round to this side. Now, as you'd expect, this to be the worst side it is. This is the side that had the smashed window, so you've got your glass and stuff everywhere. Right, all like that. Now you've got loads of mould on the carpet there. Just disgusting. Carpet's absolutely filthy. At least it's dry now though. But if anybody was ever in any doubt about this car being vandalised, there's your evidence there. Look at that, that's the missing rear view mirror that I found under the passenger seat. Looks like it's been hit with a ball peen hammer. <laughs> to be honest with you, when I see that I'm surprised it didn't smash more windows because it's obviously been pretty malicious, the, the attack on the car. So, anyway, let's get it cleaned up and looking good. Okay, I had noticed these little bits of paper earlier, but I thought it might have just have been kids messing around ripping paper up or something. But I've been taking all the stuff out of the car, and I've been finding more and more little bits of paper everywhere. So then I start thinking, hmm, I wonder if there's been a mouse living in here over winter. So, more bits of paper here. A bit too much for kids to be messing around. And then I find it. That's a wee mouse's nest there. Not that uncommon, to be honest with you, in this country and cars that are left for a long time over the winter, but... Ah well, hopefully he's long gone. <laughs>
Open your eyes, let's get it done Take my hand, just follow me Shadow and me are one
a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist is a man that they'll never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubt Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame So I've gone round the full car with some thinners and taken all that horrible aerosol paint off that was covering it and making it all dull. Look at that. They literally aerosoled it to cover up a tiny little bit of lacquer peel on there, which you can just about see. A little dent with a scratch on the back that was covered in paint. And on this side, I don't even know what they were trying to cover up on this side because it was covered in it. This back quarter was particularly bad. But there's absolutely nothing on it. Both sides of the car, absolutely dull and made to look horrible. For what? For nothing? I don't even get it. But, I know this. This car just became a bigger bargain. Look at that shine. And I've still to polish it. I'm happy with that. These are the cloths that I've used to take off the, the red paint. That cloth there used to be blue. So I was struggling to get an angle when I was polishing that could show you the difference the buffing made. 
So what I've done is I've done it the old fashioned way and I've put a bit of tape down in a straight line and I've polished up to it. So you can really see there, the left hand side's been buffed up and the right hand side's still the same old oxidised paint that was on the car. Well guys and girls, that's another one done. I'm particularly proud of the way this one's turned out to be honest with you. Remember all that horrible aerosol paint making it look dull on the sides? To be honest with you I was a bit worried about that because I didn't know what it was hiding. But it wasn't hiding much other than a couple of little light scratches that I managed to buff out and some stone chips here and there. Nothing that your average 12 year old car doesn't get anyway. Interior, well for a start we've got a steering column that's in the correct place, we've got a, a gear knob that works and actually changes gear, we've got doors that you can open that we didn't have to start with and we've got nice clean carpets. I've given the boot a bit of a clean out as well, it's all nice and fresh, I didn't bother videoing that because it's a bit boring, it just, it's unnecessary I feel. Paintworks had a good coat of sealant on it after it was buffed and it's looking nice, look at that. You wouldn't think that was 13 year old paint would you? It's got a couple of wee chips here and there on it. To be honest with you, I mean that's just a reflection there, that's not a chip or a scratch, that's a reflection. That's how shiny it is. No more glass inside and no more mould and it smells lovely. You know how I like to ask you all a question and I like people to get involved. So if you've got any comments, comment below on anything. Um, my question today is, what is your, if you clean your car yourself, have you got a favourite cleaning product or valentine product or wax or dressing or whatever? If there's anything that you think I should try, give me a shout and I'll give it, I'll maybe give it a bash. Okay, thanks guys and girls, thanks for watching.